the largest national nurses union is saying that the CDC guidelines on masks is putting frontline workers and especially people of color at risk and that they're they're calling for the CDC to reverse that. What's the White House's stance on that union in particular saying that their their members and people of color are at risk? Well, I would say we don't have any particular response to, directly to the union. I will say that, again, uh, the objective of the CDC and of Dr. Walensky was to uh, to deliver on the commitment she made to the American people, which is to provide guidance based on health and, and scientific evidence on what people can do that is safe. And so her guidance uh, that was put out uh, last week makes clear that if you are, have been vaccinated, uh, their recommendation is that you are safe not to wear a mask uh, inside, outside, and when you're not in large public gatherings. Uh, there is going to be a determination about implementation, and there are going to be populations and uh, communities uh, where uh, they take a, a different approach to implementation, because a lot of it is going to be based on the level of vaccination, uh, the level uh, in, in each community. So we certainly respect and value that, but uh, it is still our view is that uh, that, that science is the North Star. Uh, she was delivering on her promise, and we will continue to work with a range of communities on implementation. Can I ask you a follow-up on COVID? I've talked to some people who are very worried about the idea that we're operating on an honor system in a lot of ways, that we're in places like Walmart and Target, there's already starting to be rule changes based on the CDC guidance. What do you say to people who think this is that this, it's worrisome to be operating on an honor system, that it could put kids or even immune-compromised Americans at risk? Well, I would say that what this guidance provides is information to the public about what they can do to be safe. Wear a mask. If you're not vaccinated, that applies to kids. I have two kids. That isn't always easy, but that is the health and medical guidance. If you are vaccinated, you no longer need to wear a mask in these settings. So the guidance is actually pretty clear, but it gives people uh, the, the information and the power to uh, be able to protect themselves. If you get vaccinated, you go through your two doses, your two weeks past your doses, you no longer need to wear a mask. If you are not, you should still wear a mask to protect others, but also to protect yourself. And it also makes clear that kids should still wear masks. So uh, I would say that we know people are digesting this. Uh, they are, we've all been wearing masks. Many of us have been wearing masks, I should say, for 14 months now. And different companies, different organizations, different, um, different communities are going to implement based on a range of factors, including vaccination levels, cases, transmission rates. And we all should respect that. But it was the responsible step to put out the data from the scientists when it was available. And that's exactly what we did. My question that was on kind of the enforcement of this. And, and the honor system idea that you're trusting Americans all over this country to follow those guidelines. Well, what I'm is saying is that though you're empowered, if you are not vaccinated, to wear a mask. So it is less about the honor system. You don't have to trust the person next to you has been vaccinated if you have not been vaccinated. If you wear a mask, the guidance is saying that you will be, that provides protection. So, you know, it doesn't, if you're vaccinated, you don't need to wear a mask. So the honor system is. I'm not, I don't always, I'm not come sure I completely understand that argument, given it provides guidance directly to individuals about what they can do to protect themselves. And can I do one quick last one, which sure. is the CDC, from my understanding, it's, it's saying that it's not going to be tracking breakthrough, um, breakthrough people who, who people mm -hmm. who get the, vac the virus if they're already vaccinated, unless they're hospitalized or they die. I'm wondering if you could talk a little bit about what the, the thinking behind that why the president thinks that that's the best way forward to not track but people who get the virus if they're not if they're vaccinated if they don't get hospitalized or die. I would I know the seat that we'll have a health briefing a covid team briefing I believe tomorrow if I'm remembering correctly the schedule and it's an excellent question that uh, I encourage you to ask them and uh, it's certainly one that should be answered by medical experts. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead Lala.